All right, yo, so we're in LA. Um, about to get a run in right now, get our steps in, you feel me? It's kind of chilly, ain't gonna lie, it's kind of chilly in LA right now. But this is where we are, bro. First mile done, 10 minutes, 53 seconds. Second mile, 11.03. Third mile done, 10 minutes, 13 seconds. Did a little pit stop, I'm gonna eat this real quick. The Honey Stinger Waffle Salted Caramel. Let's try it. Bro, this tastes really good. Fourth mile, 11 minutes, 55 seconds. Fifth mile done, 10 minutes, 14 seconds. Sixth mile, 10 minutes, 23 seconds. Seventh mile done, nine minutes, 42 seconds. Eighth mile done, 10 minutes, five seconds. Ninth mile done, 11 minutes, 13 seconds. Tenth mile, last mile, 10 minutes flat. Yeesh. We're about to munch on this peanut, sunflower seed, protein bar from Honey Stinger, yeah, yeah, fire, always fire. What up, bro? Nephew, bro. These are, these are all my kids. Nephew. Nephew. Nephew, bro. Damn. Uh, she got me shivering. No, you just haven't pulled yet. <laughs> What's good here? What do you get? I might get the spice, the spicy Schackmeister. There's actually found a mushroom tip. There's a mushroom for mushroom tip. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I'm not on a mushroom tip, but Shake Shack, shaking and shacking. Shack, what? Smoke Shack? Smoke Shack. Smoke Shack, and he's got the Schackmeister. He's all Meister. Nazi and shit. Meister. And shit. <laughs> but let's shack it up. Let's shake it up. There you go. Hitting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Smash burger. That shit was gas. The smash burger. The smash. We got the smoothie. We got the yeah. smoothie. Let's go. Cheers. A good amount of maple syrup, some blueberries, organic, um, bananas, organic, uh, raw milk. Segue into the magnesium that we took that helps us sleep. We got a little bit of vitamin C, magnesium, organic broad spectrum hemp oil extract. And it has an LPO proprietary blend of chamomile, passion flower, ashwagandha. English Lavender, GABA, 5-HTP, and Melatonin. This is the Night Pack. The Night Pack Life Pack. Yeah. And then we, got, the we got this little guy right here. Oh, yeah. So, hemp oil extract, 2,000 milligrams per bottle. It has menthol in it and DMSO, so it's, that's what makes it more um, fast absorbing. Okay. And deeper. Did you use it yet? No, I'm using it right now. I have used this product once already, mm -hmm. so it, I, I think it works, dog, for real, bro. Oh, yeah. Part of your recovery routine, optimized. Yeah, yeah. The faster you heal, the faster you can get back to it. Yeah, yeah. You feel more gooder. Mm -hmm. Damn. It is cold, bro. It is cold, yeah. but gotta let it breathe. You know what I'm saying? Is it book time? It Story is. time? I'm trying to go back to where there was one that was calling us. We took a pause. There's something called Let It Be. Let It Be. And it's 369 Tesla's numbers. Ooh, Ooh Let It Be. Just, I like that. No, I like that. Read that shit. You just gotta go. Hey, wait, hold on one second. Before you read that, yeah. though, I'm gonna need your help. Your lower back? Yeah, my back. Or your lower front? <laughs> my lower, my lower <laughs> front. My lower front. Go to lifepackorganics.com. 
Yeah. Wait, what book are we reading right now, bro? The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. All right, let it be. First, do no harm. This credo is the well-known guiding principle of the physician's oath. Consider it a universal precept. If asked to participate in a fellow creator's project, proceed delicately. In its rough form, an early iteration of a work may hold an extraordinary magic. Above all, this is to be protected. When working alongside others, keep the oath front of mind. All right. So they're going off of the oath that they're saying is first do no harm. Pretty straightforward, right? This mm -hmm. credo is a well-known guiding principle of the physician's health because they're there to heal people. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to do no harm. Consider it a universal precept. If asked to participate in a fellow creator's project, proceed delicately. In its rough form, an early iteration of a work may hold an extraordinary magic. Above all this is to be protected. When working alongside others, keep the oath front of mind. Simple recognition of the strength may be enough to move the project forward. Simple recognition of the strengths may be enough to move the project forward. So, I mean, when you always go pros and cons, if you can go hard on the pros and make sure that the strengths carry the weaknesses and make up for it, it puts you ahead of the curve to where you can take advantage of it, ride it as hard and for as long as possible, then once you gain that, uh, that traction, you can go ahead and strengthen your weak spots. Yeah, yeah. A friend played me his current work asking for input. To my ear, there was nothing to be added or changed. In the final mix, I suggested skip the typical refining of balances and sounds. That standard would only water down a masterpiece. Sometimes the most valuable touch a, a collaborator can have is no touch at all. Raw. Raw. Exactly. That standard would only water down a masterpiece. You're doing to what much. everybody is expected to bring it to mainstream, bring it to make sure it can please more people. You know, the mainstream is not yeah. that underground stuff. Yeah. You know how the underground artists or whatever it Super is. Super deep you, connection yeah, with their it's, audience. It's more personal now. You're trying to connect to the audience. You're just doing something as a translation of you. And when you do that, more people speak to the real authenticity of that than you trying to appease to everybody else's. Short and sweet. Be you. Ending to start a new regeneration. All right. Carl Jung was obsessed with building a round tower to live. Carl Jung was obsessed with building a round tower to live, think, and create it. The shape was important because he saw life is the round is the round as something forever coming into being and passing on. Why do people talk English like that? <laughs> The shape was important because he saw life in the round as something forever coming into being and passing on. We are part of a constant, interconnected cycle of birth, death, and regeneration. Our bodies decay into the earth to bring forth new life. Our energetic mind is returned to the universe to be repurposed. Art exists in the same cycle of death and rebirth. We participate in, in this by completing one project so that we can start anew. As in life, each ending invites a fresh beginning. When consumed with a single work to the degree that we believe it's our life's mission, there's no room for the next one to develop. Just like I was talking about on the business or whatever, mm -hmm. you had to have an exit strategy and stuff. Yeah. While the artist's goal is greatness, it is also to move forward. In service to the next project, we finish the current one. In service of the current project, we finish it so it can be set free into the world. Sharing art is the price of making it. Exposing your vulnerability is the fee. Sharing art is the price of making it. Because what is art if it's not? Not shown. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exposing your vulnerability is the fee. Because your art is you. you yeah. So when you get judged on your art, your art, when you're pouring out yourself into it, you're letting it to be exposed. So that's the fee that... Mm -hmm. Vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Of this experience comes regeneration, finding freshness within yourself for the next project nice. and all the ones to follow. You put yourself in all that, you've Digested added it. all that yeah. into something, you formed it into mm -hmm. a thing that translated. And now from there, that expression, whatever you have had built up is in that art piece. Mm -hmm. And you can say you have found what you have in yourself and to create something. Now you can find something within you, new, to create something else. Yeah. You've already 
conquered express something, that, expressed one yeah, thing. Exactly. That stage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, every artist creates a dynamic history, a living museum of finished objects, one work after another. Begun, completed, released. Begun, completed, released. Over and over again. Each time, a stamp commemorating a moment of passage, a moment filled with energy, now forever embodied in a work of art. Right there, yeah. A moment filled with energy mm -hmm. when you're expressing now forever embodied in that art. Art, yeah. Let's see. The work of art is not an endpoint in itself. It is a station on the journey, a chapter in our lives. We acknowledge these uh, transitions by documenting each of them. Thanks. Thanks. A work of art is not an endpoint in itself because it is the result of you finishing something, so that's the work of art. Mm -hmm. But that's not the end point. It's a station on a journey, a chapter in our lives. We acknowledge these transitions by documenting each of them. Yeah, yeah, so we look back, the feelings that we were expressing when we created that, when people do expressive paintings and they're using all blues, blacks, reds, whites, whatever, that right there was that moment expressed. Mm -hmm. That's that. <laughs> We acknowledge these transitions by documenting each of them. So we're transitioning every time we finish a new one, different pieces of ourselves so, yeah. express. That, it's crazy because it's like right now, bro, I feel that 100%. Yeah. Because I was like heavily into like the weed and like, mm -hmm. you know, like um, traveling and being mm -hmm. with the homies and mm -hmm. stuff and being with the crew. Yeah. And then now it's like, I'm not saying like I push that aside and I don't think about it no more. I don't care about it. Mm -hmm. It's just like. I'm at a new stage of my life where like I'm just focusing on like my health, running, self development, self development, finding yourself and your purpose. Yeah, yeah. not because letting it be defined by the circle you yeah, allow yourself. Was, that was yeah. influencing you. Didn't you did, but you didn't like mm -hmm. place that influence and circle around you, knowing already the purpose. So it was like kind of shadowing versus when you step away from everything, no outside distractions, you can mm -hmm. focus on your core self and your true divine purpose in life. Exactly. And then you can place the people around you that reflect that. Exactly, bro. Exactly. 100%. That's that new, new. Mm -hmm. It's the unknown. We get to that new, new, that unknown. Ah. Life. Life. Pack. Mm -hmm. Every day is a new day. It's a new year every day. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow's a new year from last year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, facts, <laughs> facts. That was that fucking 12 months ago yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that 12 months ago yesterday. You want that life pack? You want that life pack, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm applying what I have read overall. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have time to read because I'm applying what I have previously read and what I feel like I need to re-download and re yeah. circuit some knowledge. But right now, on all that I've accumulated so far and I'm still adding to it and finishing things, but it's enough to where in my time of life, it's like, dang, all that stuff is needing to be applied. Yeah, no, so for sure. So there's answers that I might not have, then maybe I'll re-tap into certain yeah. things. And I think that's like the... Um, like not misconception i think that's like the misuse of books is that people just read them but then they don't apply it knowledge is the power like they don't they yeah. don't like uh, digest it enough uh -huh. like they just they say because knowledge is power but it's not yeah knowledge is a part of the power yeah. you have to use it you have to apply it yeah it's the application knowledge right. is a process and a part of it but knowledge itself is not solely power yeah like i i mean i don't know if i'm saying it right but i heard online uh Someone who's knowledgeable isn't intelligent um, because they say you could read everything and you mm -hmm. can know everything out of a book, but then until you put it into your own actions and stuff and build on top of it, that's when you get your true uh, intelligence. Mm -hmm. um, for example, like scientists, they put out a hypothesis mm -hmm. they don't just leave it there. They actually do a whole bunch of they different try to tests prove it and try or, to prove yeah. it. And sometimes they even prove it to, for them to be wrong. So you yeah. know what I mean? So it's like... And it's like become intelligent. Yeah. You know, you're not just assuming that you have all this knowledge, knowledge. and not having applied yeah. it to test it. Yeah, you know? exactly. The knowledge that you are using is because not only have... is it, It's been like shown in other people's lives, but I've applied it to myself and I can speak for the fact yeah. that it does or doesn't. Having like your own testimony, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like very important to when, it, when your own knowledge, mm -hmm. instead of just telling people like, yo, this is what it is when you haven't even experienced it, bro. But I think that's just like the misuse of books or just knowledge in general. Yeah, yeah. 
lot of people are going to school for college, but they don't really know shit. So like, there's an example. That's an example. And also when you're on social media, it's such a quick hit of gratification of so much abundance of knowledge. Yeah. You can find all the different knowledge you can, but by the time you can get a chance to apply it, you've already flooded your brain with another source of knowledge that you have yet to apply it. Just yeah. like I said, I'm not reading right now because all of what I've already read is being applied now. Mm -hmm. So versus if you're doing it on social media, you've seen 10 different topics of things that are useful and they really are good knowledge to have. Mm -hmm. But at one point where you're able to apply it. Yeah, exactly. It's all the balance and yeah. self-awareness. Yeah. And, and like, that's the thing too is like, um, the people who write these books or people like you just see on social media, mm -hmm. like, you kind of have to see yourself in them to relate, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, definitely. you just don't want to just, like, dive into some yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking book that everybody tells you to yeah, and shit. Yeah. And, like, it just yeah. brings, it's not on your type of frequency mm -hmm. or, like, who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. There's, like, really aggressive books and mm -hmm. there's really, like, mellow books for the same topic of success or, like, self-development and shit. If you're a business person and it happens to be like a Steve Jobs book or yeah. something like that, 100%. you're not going to go to the guy who opens a business that you don't support. Yeah. So it's got to be like kind of t t tailored towards like your interests and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel that night pack trying to pack me in the night. All right. Good morning, yo. We're about to get this Life Pack Organics stick um, CBD for health and wellness. It has a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. CBD has 30 milligrams and it has prebiotics. Okay. Sheesh. Oh! Hey, is it flavorless? Mm hmm. I'm that sad. part. I put salt in my shit, so I'm gonna see what it's like with that. Wait, why do you put salt? Uh, sodium allows better absorption into your whole body, so it allows you to stay more hydrated. Oh, shit. Whenever you try my water, you're like, damn, shit tastes like the ocean. Yeah, that shit is straight up Frank Ocean, baby. Yeah. That's that Frank Ocean. And <laughs> tomato flew around my room. Wait, how much are you supposed to do? Like, I feel like I'm sal salting this shit like Salt Bay right now. For every uh, hour that you work out and exercise, you need, like, a teaspoon serving of salt in your water to replenish everything that you lose. Yeah, man. It's either a teaspoon or a tablespoon. That shit don't even taste like salt to me no more. Just keep me updated when you get here. Plus the Holy Spirit in the stew cause he came in. Told the devil get up on my way cause your day's been. Lord moving, he just had his way, hit the praise dance. Woke up so thankful for his grace, I said amen. Lord grab me out the dark pit for the game win. Ballin' off for Christ, I can't miss, I'm on game 10. Dunkin' on the demons, whole head like my name been. Came a long way from the trap, up the rain. Can I grab a donut? Yeah, go for it. Appreciate it. Yo, this is that carb for the run right now. This is carbon up right now. Best friends with the Lord and I hate sin. That sin try to tip me outside, but I stayed in. Ghetto gospel music of the trenches on the way in. Tell them if they want me, come and get me if it makes sense. I put a demon on skates like it's road bounce. Holy stepping in my holy flops with my toes out. Right division had to make it plain, got my goals down. This a Holy Spirit takeover, let's roll out. Got this thing in a chokehold. Demon time on the clown, I'm on glow mode. Making slaps, I'ma snap like them photos. Watch my God take the wheel like a solo. And you know what it is, keep your distance, don't question me. Chains in the gang, got the gang to the left of me. Nothing can keep me from reaching my destiny. Take back them things that they thought that they kept from me. We just got done working out. We got the, uh, what coconut, is this? Coconut water, electrolytes, natural. Yes, sir. Uh, Real coconut premium. Taste Nirvana. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't like coconut water. Yeah, and it wasn't just, even in the fridge. I'm just drinking it. It wasn't even in the fridge, and it's like decently all right, cold. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like taro a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, yeah the aftertaste. Yeah, like you said it. Yeah. Um, New York strip, 100% organic, grass-fed beef. The protein. We got some uh, Boulder Canyon. Cheddar and sour cream, one of the uh, healthier options for chips. Because it's cooked in avocado oil. Because it's cooked in avocado oil, if you did not hear Unc over there. These chips are fire, dog. Look at Unc, he did that. Load them up, Unc, load them up. Yeah, put some warm pieces right on top of the butter to melt it, just like that, you know what I mean? Woo! Do some of that. Cheers, brother, and cheers. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. um. Higher protein to carb ratio. Some I use this uh, maple syrup, but now they made their maple syrup whipped butter. Smash that. Just 
Wow. Wow. Is it crack or what? No, I'm good. If you if you don't like something too sweet, this mm -hmm. that hits, bro. I wonder if you can do an avocado toast with this. Yes, you can. Some sweet avocado yeah, toast. Yeah, hell yeah. Wow. And put bacon on top still. Ooh. Ooh. Maple bacon avocado. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> what? We sound like we're, wow. we're fucking like. We're just lurching. <laughs> yeah, just lurching. Damn, let me just pull up to this crib like this. That's right. Yeah. Yep. No. At least. Yep.